What do you think was your most critical point? It's all to do with with rugby league was the main was the main thing. Um, why why aren't you good enough to do this? Where's this play going? Why can't you do that? Why can't you do this? Why are we coming last? You know, it was those deep, dark thoughts, and I was at a place where I was stuck in a hole, and that light at the end of the tunnel was getting darker and darker. And every single time I'd find a way to climb a bit up, something hit me back right back down. Feeling like there was no way out, Andrew Fafita attempted suicide last October. With his twin brother David in the room for support, he begins to describe what happened the night he tried to end his life. I text my missus. And I said to her, I said, just remember. Um, yeah. Yeah, I knew he was going to walk out. Just, I could see the tears in his, his eyes now from that day. It, it's tough, but. I couldn't, I couldn't bring it up with him. You haven't spoken about it? A Bucks weekend on the Gold Coast would bring Andrew Fafita to breaking point. The prop, who doesn't normally drink, had been partying in Surfer's Paradise. Andrew became agitated after a confrontation with fans who wanted a photo. His brothers thought nothing of the incident. But back at the hotel, Andrew's mood erupted into dangerous desperation and hopelessness. My older brother Latu was pretty much sitting on the couch going, just real, real angry and was going, what's going on? What's going on? Tell us what's going on. And we started arguing a bit and I said, I'll, sh I'll show you what's going on. Let me show you. And there was this window and I just, I just jumped. And this would have been 20 stories high. I've had enough and just launched myself out this window and someone grabbed my legs and pretty much got back in and fell to the ground and David punched me in the face, punched me in the mouth. I sat there laughing at him. So I was just yelling at him, I didn't care, it's over. Do what you want. Life was over for me at that point. For Andrew Fafita, who's been diagnosed with depression and personality disorder, his journey with mental health continues. He's been to rehab twice and will continue to go whenever he feels he needs the help. His story is a reminder that mental health is an issue for everyone. As friends and family, we too need to be brave. Brave enough to ask, are you okay? How do you feel now? It's pretty much the only question I ask to myself and, um, and the question I really can't answer. It's because I don't know. I'm on so much medication um, that I don't know whether I'm still that person down, down there. And I think the fear of me coming off the medication and being back to where I was is, I suppose, the scariest thing. Is it feasible you could be on medication for the rest of your life? It is, but um, for me personally, I don't want to be. But with football, it's just not changing. It's, it's tough, it's, you know, there's a tough side to it, and but what's even tougher is a mental side to it. How mentally tough are you now? At the moment, <laughs> it's hard to say because I'm still learning. If you or anyone you know is suffering from depression, contact Lifeline on 13 11 14.